Hi. Talking about anamorphics, at the moment um, my ambition is to make the perfect anamorphic camera for my aerial uh, vi videography and uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was to actually use uh, my Inspire. It's an old drone but it still works and the best thing about this at the moment is that it uses the micro four thirds formats and these lenses uh, give me uh, brilliant video quality as well as using um, the micro four four thirds uh, lenses like the Olympus uh, 12 millimeter here and this is excellent and it still works so besides that uh, I'm testing out as a proof of concept the uh, Micro Four Thirds camera. This is an X5, a spare one, on an Osmo handle. And uh, I've actually used, I don't know if you can see this, it's a Ulanzi um, anamorphic adapter attached to a uh, step up ring from 17 to 37. And from 37 to uh, 49, which is about the size for this uh, uh, zoom lens. This zoom lens can only stretch up to its furthest at 42 millimeters. Basically, uh, I've got to have a longer um, focal length just just to uh, accommodate for this uh, anamorphic adapter uh, I've just tried this and it kind of works but as you can see it's it's very front heavy and it's um, very awkward I'm just going to turn it on I've got a, an extra pack here using this to power my Osmo at the moment uh, once I've got it on the drone, the drone will just do it with its own power. So let me just uh, turn this on. As you can see, you can hear it straining. I don't know if you can hear that. And um, besides that straining, I'm going to have to adjust this um, lens so it's properly horizontal. Once it's there, it's there. Look at that. Gorgeous. So, yeah, kind of works, but I'm thinking I need to put some back weights. I've already started uh, some back weights. I don't know. See that? Some back weights on that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, a while before I try it on a drone. I'm going to have to see if I can balance this properly and then try it and see how it goes, really. Um, I'll give you some test footage anyway and uh, see what you make of it. All right, we're testing out the Osmo... Um, anamorphic camera now and as you can see this is at the widest end of the lens the is it 14 to 42 millimeter zoom so yeah I'm gonna pull it on the tele end and uh, see if we can get a decent uh, shots without the vignetting it there you go seems to work and then uh, this is on manual focus so I'm gonna try and focus it to the other end there you go I think that's okay so this is the uh, 
anamorphic and you can see all the warped lines as, as I pan across but it's looking not bad actually Story 